Welcome, Church of the Covenant, to this time of evening prayer. This is a short service of evening prayer, and we are glad that you have joined us tonight. We are having to pre-record the service for tonight's viewing, but we have taken into consideration all the prayers that have been shared thus far today and since Sunday. But we know that God works through this technology, and what, no matter what time you are watching, no matter what you are doing, our hearts are praying as one. So we thank you for coming and gathering with us tonight. As you are getting yourself settled for this time of evening prayer, we begin by lighting the candle, reminding us of the presence of the Holy Spirit, lighting us and being with us. Light and peace in Jesus Christ. And together Thanks. let us say, Thanks be to God. Let us pray. We praise and thank you, O God, for you are without beginning or end. Through Christ you created the whole world, and through Christ you preserve it. You made the day for our works that are light and good. You made the night for the refreshment of our minds and our bodies and our souls. Keep us now in Christ. Grant us a peaceful evening, a night free from sin, and bring us at last to eternal life. Through Christ and in the Holy Spirit, we offer you all glory, honor, and worship, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading this evening is from Psalm 102. We'll be reading verses 1 through 17. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in my day of distress. Incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in the day when I call. For my days pass away like smoke, and my bones burn like a furnace. My heart is stricken and withered like grass, because I am too wasted to eat my bread. Because of my loud groaning, my bones cling to my skin. I am like an owl of the wilderness, like a little owl of the waste places. I lie awake. I am like a lonely bird on the housetop. All day long, my enemies taunt me. Those who deride me use my name for a curse. For I eat bread, I, excuse me, I eat ashes like bread. I mingle tears with my drink because of your indignation and anger, for you have lifted me up and thrown me aside. My days are like an evening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever. Your name endures to all generations. You will rise up and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to favor it. The appointed time has come. For your servants hold its stones dear and have pity on its dust. The nations will fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion. He will appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute and will not despise their prayer. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Now we hear from our gospel lesson coming from John chapter 8, verses 31 through 38. Hear now the word of the Lord. Then Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean by saying, you will be made free. Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not have a permanent place in the household. The son has a place there forever. So if the son makes you free, you are free indeed. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, yet you look for an opportunity to kill me, because there is no place for you, place in you for my word. I declare what I have seen in the Father's presence. As for you, you should do what you have heard from the Father. The Word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. 
We now join our hearts together in prayer. And as I said, uh, feel free to um, share your praises and prayers out loud. Hear what has been gathered by our community. Know that our hearts are praying as one, no matter what time and place we are listening to this time of online recorded worship. So together, let us go to God. And with each petition, you will hear, Lord, in your mercy, and we hope you will respond, hear our prayer. Together, let us pray. Holy God, you have gathered us together in this time of online worship. You are helping our hearts to stop for a moment and focus solely on you. As you have called us to be your body, you have called us to be the church. We want to hear now things that are on the hearts and minds of our congregation. We lift up Emma June Kent, a young uh, teenager who has an osteosarcoma in her knee. Yesterday she underwent knee replacement surgery and it was long, but the surgery was successful and that she is able to be cancer free right now. We pray for her and her recovery and her family. We lift up J.D. Stevens, a 38 year old who was just diagnosed with bladder cancer. He is the father of two small children. We pray for J.D. and his family. We pray for Ken Lemley and his continued recovery. We pray for Doris McMakin. We pray for Joe Erlewan. We pray for Letty Burgess and her family and celebrate that Letty was able to come home from the hospital and pray for her family as they continue to support her in her ongoing cancer treatments. We pray for Kay's neighbor, Susie, who was diagnosed with COVID-19. We pray for all women who are pregnant during this time. We know many who are expecting um, babies soon and we want to lift them up in our prayers. Lord, now also hear what's on our hearts. May we share with you things that we would offer to you in praise, things that we would come to you for support and prayer. May we lift and share our needs with you at this time. Holy God, lift all of this up. Cover us in your grace and mercy and assure us that our prayers have been heard. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, as we come to rest, Lord, so many of us are hurting so badly that that hurt takes up all of our eyesight, all of our vision, all of our horizon. It is all hurt. Lord, we hear the psalmist who says that he can't even eat. His drink is mixed with tears. He has been mocked, hurt. Lord, as we find ourselves in those situations, focus us beyond ourselves. Show us that you are the one who saves you are the one who lifts us up. You are the place where we have hope. Lord, right now, in the midst of all uncertainty, with no one who can tell us what will happen tomorrow or next week or next month or next year, all we can see is where we are now. But Lord, you can tell us what will happen in eternity. Lord, point us towards you. Raise us up to be with you. Grant us hope. Lord, sometimes it is not the hurt, but sometimes we are so certain of ourselves that we do not even see the ways that we are enslaved. We do not even see the ways that we are being held captive. We don't see the sin that exists in our lives. Lord, we pray tonight that your word will find a place in our hearts. And that out of the seed of your word will grow a knowledge and an awareness of you. That you will show us that you are the way. That you will show us how we may live lives that are like Christ. Lives that welcome, lives that open, lives that love. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, 
It is hard to be a leader in these times. It is hard to make decisions for the whole and not just for the one. It is hard and difficult to take into many consideration as we make rules and restrictions and new pathways forward and guidance for our whole community. Lord, would be with each leader, be with everyone who's in charge, be with committees making decisions, be with all of us as we live into the now, the new, new patterns, new ways of being. Lord, it is even in our church as we find new ways of being the church. We long for what was past and what was easy and what was normal. But Lord, you are calling us to something new. This is difficult. There are times when we go with the flow and then times that we just struggle. Lord, help us in all of those times to know that you are in charge, that you never leave our side, that you are companions with us on this journey, calling us on a journey to be your new creation. You are working in each of us. You are transforming hearts. You are healing lives. You are restoring brokenness. Lord, your power is great and mighty. Let us never lose sight of focusing on you. Lord, we need your guidance and grace. We need your clear thinking. And we need to be able to see all and not just our wants. We need to be able to care for all and not just what we wish for and long for. Lord, help us to see this newness, to hear your guidance, to make good decisions, and to be faithful to the way you call us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, this is not what we would have chosen. This is not what we desired. Grant us grace to accept that it is what is. Grant us grace to live in the place that we are rather than the place we wish we were. Show us, Lord, that this place is a place that is challenging but rewarding. That this is a place that still allows us to live into our callings. Lord, we can be so focused on what we lack that we miss what we have in abundance. Lord, we can be so focused on our not meeting together that we can miss how we have intentionally cared for one another while apart. We can miss how love has overflowed over the internet and over Zoom, and in many places. Lord, remind us that you have given us more than enough. And because it is more than enough, Lord, that we don't have to just keep it inside our church, but it can be shared. That there is a world that is lonely now. There is a world that is grieving now. There is a world that hurts now. There is a world that is desperate now. There is a world that is looking for something to do now. And we have that love. We have that peace. We have that joy. We have that grace. We have more than we need. And so we can offer it even in this time where we are apart. Lord, keep our eyes on that abundance. Keep our eyes on your kingdom. Keep our eyes on Christ. And so let's pray together as Christ taught us, saying, Our, Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy thy name. Thy Thy kingdom come, thy thy will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this time of evening prayer. Go with this blessing. The grace of Jesus Christ be with you and hold you this night. Amen. Amen.